Vandals hit the Anne Frank Memorial again. Tuesday morning, someone wrote racist and anti-Semitic graffiti defacing the memorial. And now officials at the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights think that same perpetrator struck again. Six on your side's Marissa Morrison explains. I'm at the Anne Frank Memorial where even more new graffiti was discovered Wednesday morning. The Anne Frank Memorial for Human Rights is usually calm and serene, but words and symbols scrawled on the tablets displaying the Universal Declaration of Human Rights disturbed that serenity. So this morning when we arrived, we were early alerted to a swastika that had been permanently marked in with ink a long name of a Jewish donor. This combined with yesterday's tagging of a racist and anti-Semitic slur. Natural wear and tear on the tablets combined with harsh treatments to remove the permanent marker used to vandalize the memorial has the center looking to replace the display. Some of the wording of the UDHR is becoming blurred. It's harder to read from the tablets. And so to looking at this, this isn't just a repair. This becomes a replacement at $20,000. After reports of the graffiti spread nationally, human rights organizations from across the country reached out to offer support and encouragement. The vandalism hit us so hard emotionally. Stephen Goldstein is the executive director for the Anne Frank Center for Mutual Respect based in New York City. Let me tell you what the initial reaction of a couple of people was. Well, that's Idaho. It's a conservative state. What do you expect? And here's what we said. The people of Idaho are a great and fair-minded people with a culture that considers everyone equal. Goldstein and Prinzing say the vandalism is a sign that now, more than ever, memorials like this are needed. Idaho is too great for hate. We do not stand. This does not represent us as a state or as a people. Police continue to investigate the incident. Reporting in Boise, Marissa Morrison, 6 on your side. The memorial does not currently have security cameras, but after the recent vandalism, the director says there is discussion about installing them.